Rand Paul went after Lindsey Graham in a particularly vicious way. This is awesome. The, the president hasn't made any military threats going into the summit, as you know, but Senator Lindsey Graham, your colleague, he wants an authorization for the use of military force in case the talks fail. Do you think President Trump has taken the military option off the table? And would you vote for such an authorization for the use of military force? Uh, absolutely not. Lindsey Graham is, is a danger to the country by even proposing ideas like authorizing war with Korea. My goodness. Uh, so that should be something that is uh, seen as naive and seen as something that uh, really serious people shouldn't even really be discussing. You're calling a fellow Republican senator a danger to the country. I, I want you to elaborate. Well, if you've watched over time, I think what you've seen from Lindsey Graham is basically a, a, na a naive worldview where he believes that war is always the answer. And uh, that also means that expenditures for war are always the answer. And so I think that's bankrupting us as a country, but it's also gotten us involved in dozens and dozens of war where it's not really clear what the American interest is in those wars. And I think sometimes the reaction to our involvement in those wars has actually been worse than had we not been involved at all. I love how apoplectic Wolf Blitzer is. He, oh, did you just call a distinguished senator a danger to the country? And Rand Paul's like, yeah, that's what I did. I mean, again, if there was any attempt <clears throat> to strive for objectivity on the part of CNN, that's where um, not only would Wolf Blitzer concede that point, he would have elaborated further as to how uh, Lindsey Graham is objectively a danger to the country and to the world. I mean, this is the guy who spoke about Iraq when he ran for president, by the way, LOL on that. Um, he was like, you don't leave. He was asked, hey, so how do you get out of Iraq? He goes, you don't leave. You don't get out. You just stay there. I'm not kidding. He said that. So instead of acting like shocked Wolf and thinking like, by definition, no U.S. senator can be a threat to the U.S., how about you actually don't be a dumbass? and you use your mind, and you break shit down in a reasonable way. But I know that's too much to ask. And he doesn't want to be accused of having a liberal bias by going after a neocon senator and saying, no, you are a danger to the U.S. and to the world for that matter. So I think Rand Paul's 100% right here. I mean, think about what, what was just said. Lindsey Graham wants an authorization for use of military force against North Korea just in case. What the f- Listen, they're not an offensive threat, but let's say hypothetically they launched against us. The president has the authority to defend the nation. So, he could do that. But, he wants to get an authorization for use military force just in case to allow the president to go to war offensively with them. I mean, this is- that- Did you know that's what they said about Iraq early on, too, when they were passing the war in Iraq? They were like, no, 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 you we're not saying Bush is going to go. We're just saying that we want to give him the ability to go if he needs to go kind of thing. And then it passed overwhelmingly, and then he went to war in Iraq. And Lindsey Graham, neocon, war hawk, American supremacist lunatic, he's like, I, I'm not saying I want to go to war with North Korea. I'm just saying give, a, give the president the ability to go to war with North Korea and do it right now. Rand Paul's right. No serious person would take that position. However, unfortunately, virtually the entire establishment is deeply unserious in the sense that they buy into American supremacism, they buy into neoconservatism, and that's why we're bombing eight countries right now and have 900 military bases. So unfortunately, the default position in uh, elite circles in the U.S. is totally unserious and dangerous to the entire world.